Hello guys and welcome to a quick video on how to correctly install Imperial Rome. I found some downloadable files. I'm going to provide you the links of everything that I have on my desktop that I'm going to use in the video description. If you use the links that I just provide you, you will get like three files hidden here. The first one you want to download is the Imperia. The download link itself is with this file, so the mega.nz imperia.7z. Download this through your browser to Megashing. I would go for your browser because I don't have this fancy stuff. So this is where you can download it. Once you've downloaded it, download this. Now this website is going to be in Russian. If you have if you use Google, then you can translate it, press download, it says we're born to 7z, if you press download it, it would go, it's a small file of 2.6 MB, so not much. Uh, the other one is this file, the Leo.3 BBB Russian, and it's an immediate link to download, if you press it, you see here the VSE, or something like that, those are the files that you need, so once you have them, uh, I have them in here, this is the, the, the point to six so imperia is of course the mod imperia and you want to extract that to your file now most of you are probably using on steam so let's just see uh, programmer files program files programmer files uh, then we go to steam steam apps common uh, these are the games that I've installed at the moment uh, then we go to mount and blade and then modules place it in here so you see here the imperial so that is of course the file that you want to start using there if you see it right here these are the files that i have in there now what you then do go away what you then do is you do the mountain blade warband one now this is a small patch and as you can see it is not going into mods or stuff like that you will extract this into your regular mountain blade game so just extract these files and you can see this already um, this is the wrong one to be honest uh, let's see do I have anything yeah mountain blade warband it will open up in there just click this one say ok and you say you want to replace all of this and yes to all because I have done so already of course because I'm using it and the last one is the the WSE file uh, copy these links into your uh, where are you again come here oh that's wrong probably no no uh, into your mount and blade warband and it says yes transfer all so yes to all there you go now you have all the files you can you don't longer need these uh, what I usually do is what I don't need I don't have on my computer no no back to your mount and blade warband there's one file that you want. Normally, we are all using like the shortcut for your Mountain Blade Warband. Now, this is not probably going to work for that. What you're going to need, if you go down there, you see the WSE Loader. Now, I've made a, a, a shortcut to my desk, but if you just click it, then it says, here you go, this is your normal launcher. Now, normally you say, oh, come on, I know this stuff. I don't need that. Well, just play click and I'll see you in game. Okay, so we're finally in the game. I, I don't have these these one of these fantasies um, SSD drives, so it takes me a bit longer. One thing that you need to realize is once you get in, of course, you can start a new game. I can't because there is kind of, you know, old files from the series that I've already done. Now, here is what you got. If you do the steps that I do, then you should have an incomplete file version. These files are no longer able to be used. And I'll just load this one up for you. This is going to be the first, um, the start of where we are going to pick up the game. So a little bit of a sneak peek uh, from there. I, I did go and end up in cheat mode. The things that have changed and I need to find myself something to fight okay so we are going to attack this uh, military wagon so um, um, yeah charge the enemy we are outnumbering them now you say okay yeah that, that's all good in games but now we can finally say formations 
Uh, no, and you can see it in the bottom there as well. Now, why is this so important? You see at the bottom left there, infantry holds this position. That was not in the game. See if I can see something that we weren't able to see later. I'm not doing this just to, you know. Okay, look at that. Okay, we have killed something. The wagons are now driving, and you can finally see people really in there. Usually it were like these two donkeys or these horses, you know. Um, it just, just uh, it looked terrible. Anyway, that's it for this, and I'll uh, see you off. Uh, anyways guys, I, I do hope you have found this video to be informant and um, Hope to see you next time guys. Have fun playing. Goodbye